hi guys welcome to this session here we are going to talk about coordinate system transformations homogeneous coordinate system it was introduced by august ferdinand mobius just like euclidean geometry has got cartesian coordinate system projective geometry has got homogeneous coordinate system they are mostly used in computer graphics and they allow common vector operations such as translation rotation scaling and perspective projection and it is achieved by multiplying a transformation matrix in order to convert homogeneous coordinates to cartesian coordinates we simply divide x and y by a scalar quantity which is w here x comma y comma w represents a 2d homogeneous coordinate system if it was 3d homogeneous coordinate system it would have been x y z and w it is in another way representing n dimensional coordinate system by n plus 1 different values for example if it is a 2d coordinate system we represent the 2d coordinate systems homogeneous coordinate system with two values they are three values i beg your pardon three values x y w homogeneous coordinates are scale variant why because the same points such as 1 2 3 2 4 6 they are different points in homogeneous coordinate system but they they represent the same point in euclidean space that's why we call homogeneous coordinate systems as scale invariant they represent the same point in euclidean space even though they have different values as x y and z the examples are given in the slide how do we rotate when it comes to homogeneous coordinate system similar to that of euclidean space cartesian coordinate system here we have got 4 by 4 matrix rather than 3 by 3 for a cartesian coordinate system we use 3 by 3 if it is 3d but since as we told n plus 1 values that is x y z and w when it comes to 3d homogeneous coordinate system that's why we have got 4 by 4 transformation matrix if you consider removing the fourth column and fourth row you will ultimately come up with a simple 3d rotation matrix which is used for cartesian coordinate system if you are rotating about the z-axis the transformation matrix is given as the first image and similarly x-axis rotation y-axis rotation these matrices are really useful when it comes to calculation so these are the matrices which has to be by hearted so if you have you can actually deduce the 3d cartesian coordinate transformation matrices from these matrices itself by just removing the fourth row as well as fourth column of the transformation matrix and the rotation is considered to be positive if the rotation is taking place in clockwise direction sorry i beg your pardon anti-clockwise direction as shown in the figure translation matrix if an object is translated from one point to another by tx ty tz values in x y z respectively we get a new coordinate system point that is obtained by multiplying the 3d translation matrix similar to what i said before we have got 4 by 4 matrix and scaling matrix which results in magnifying that particular figure in the graphics we scale that particular figure by scaling it point in the figure by sx xy sz 
reflection matrix when that particular point or a figure has to be reflected with respect to an axis or we can call plane if it is xy plane that means we are rotating about reflecting about the z axis so we have to provide a minus sign for the third row third column value if it is about the yz plane or x axis we have to provide a minus sign for the first row and first column similarly for the xz plane or y axis 